It's the Weather Extreme video, the afternoon edition. This is for Monday, the 23rd of February, 2015. I'm James Spann. Active winter weather, a can of worms. We've got uh, an impact event tonight, possibly a high impact event Wednesday with snow. Let's go. A lot of things to talk about. We'll try and answer all of your questions. This is the Chiha State Park Sky Cam this afternoon. Nice and quiet. The sun has popped out in a few spots. Temperatures are up in the 40s. We wonder what that scene will look like maybe Wednesday night or Thursday up on the big mountain. That's Alabama's highest mountain south of Anniston. To the west, Little Rock, Arkansas, on ice again with freezing rain and sleet. Just a big mess. And there you go, the northern branch delivering the cold air. Southern branch producing wave after wave of winter weather mischief across the southern states. Temperatures are above freezing everywhere. Birmingham at 41 at mid-afternoon, uh, 35 at Coleman. We'll see those numbers coming down tonight. They should be below freezing up in northwest Alabama by 6 o'clock and then ultimately below freezing down to Interstate 20 probably by about midnight tonight. And after that, there could be some icing with precipitation. We'll show you uh, more details on that in just a second. But it's very, very cold up north. St. Louis at 14, Nashville 29. And that air is slowly feeding in here. And with the Gulf low, you know that opens up the door for trouble. Uh, we've got a winter weather advisory. This is for tonight, uh, what you see for our part of the state. Uh, Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, Anniston, Gadsden, really as far south as Sweetwater, Marion, Clanton, Rockford, Ashland, Lineville, and Roanoke. Uh, that is for the potential of some uh, light freezing rain uh, late tonight. And again, the problems initially over northwest Alabama, and as the freeze line drops south, the problems could develop more to the south. I'm afraid we're getting so much attention on Wednesday, we're kind of missing this thing tonight. And here's a wider view, and you can see the, the problems are stretched out all the way from Texas to South Carolina. Uh, it's just a big old fat mess. This is a look at the 48-hour uh, probability of snow accumulation greater than 2 inches. And this is basically targeted on Wednesday. And this is coming from the guys at WPC. And you can see the higher percentages uh, centered right over parts of North Alabama. And those are in the 60% range. And i got a lot of things to show you here. So let's go. This is the GFS, the 12Z run, valid tomorrow at noon. This is just kind of a big picture overview. This is about 18,000 feet off the ground. You can see the troughing in the east, the northern branch delivering the cold air, and the southern branch with that uh, very deep upper low that's over Arkansas. Flagstaff, they picked up over 8 inches of snow today up in the uh, high terrain of, uh, of Arizona. And uh, let's take a look at the HRRR. This is after midnight tonight at uh, 3 a.m. local time. And the freeze line is the red line. It's very close to Birmingham, sitting right over the Birmingham metro, maybe a smidgen north of Tuscaloosa or Anniston. But uh, again, we've got rain falling in Montgomery, but you see that light freezing rain north of the freeze line. Um, and that could be a problem. This is the NAM tomorrow morning at 7 o'clock, and this is more robust with the moisture. And this is suggesting maybe some pretty decent freezing rain falling. And that's why I'm a little concerned that maybe people are overlooking this thing tomorrow morning. If this verifies, that could really create some pretty significant uh, ice, icy travel problems for Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, and Anniston. Uh, the deeper moisture is obviously south of the Tennessee Valley, but that I-20 corridor could see some pretty good icing if indeed this verifies. So again, for tonight, uh, Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, Anniston, the freeze line won't get down there toward midnight. And then uh, early, <laughs> early tomorrow morning, if this indeed verifies, there could be some icy travel problems. We have a winter weather advisory. A lot of schools are opening late again because of that. That is issue number one. And then by 5 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, it's all gone. We should be above freezing, I'd say, by late tomorrow morning, 10 or 11 o'clock. And after that, no travel problems, no issues during the afternoon, uh, tomorrow, and then tomorrow night. Wednesday, here comes the uh, potential high-impact event of the week. Uh, and this is... At noon, you can see a surface low is south of the mouth of the Mississippi River with potential for snow on the northern flank of all of that. 7 o'clock Wednesday evening, the surface low is 1,000 millibars south of Panama City Beach. And again, with the cold air in place and the northern flank of that, somebody somewhere should get some pretty good snow. Uh, the GFS, not as robust as the NAM. This is the NAM at 3 o'clock uh, Wednesday afternoon. The dark blue, that's all snow. And again, somebody, there's going to be a deformation axis setting up in there, and somebody will be slammed with a good bit of snow. Where that axis falls, we don't know that. Typically, it's about 30, maybe 40 miles wide. Uh, this is the potential snow accumulation coming off the NAM, North American Mesoscale model. And uh, these numbers are on up there. It's got 7 inches for Birmingham, Tuscaloosa 4, Anniston 5, even hinting that around Fayette there could be some 10-inch amounts. And this is a you know model, not a forecast. 
The GFS, much more conservative. The global forecast system, it's got snow amounts of two inches for uh, Birmingham and Anniston. And uh, not much for Tuscaloosa, at least the city of Tuscaloosa. Got three inches down there near the Shelby County Airport. Uh, but that really is an outlier. Most of the other models are robust. And, uh, uh, you know, we, you like to take this ensemble approach. This is the short range ensemble forecast plume viewer. And uh, the mean is what you're looking for. That's that black line. And now the mean is up to over four inches. And this is specifically for Birmingham. But we note there are members of the ensemble that bring it to over 10 inches, two members now. And you've got several members that are over six inches for Birmingham. And that mean uh, line will probably keep on creeping up. But understand, this is Monday. This is an event Wednesday. There is no way we can tell you where the strip of heavier snow will fall. Uh, this is coming off the uh, ensemble. I'm sorry, this is off the uh, WPC uh, uh, outlook from the guys at INSEP. Uh, this is not a computer model. This is human generated. And uh, this is the 75 percentile. And they're spitting out four inches for Birmingham and Gadsden, three for Anniston, two for Tuscaloosa. So what does it all mean? This is the public graphic we're showing. Again, this is for Wednesday. It's a classic Gulf of Mexico surface low situation. We're going to say for uh, Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, Anniston, Gadsden, amounts of two to four inches of snow likely. Isolated amounts to eight inches in a narrow band somewhere, but we don't know where. And also understand there will be some that get less than two inches, and some people will get nothing. Uh, that if you read the uh, 10 things to know about winter forecasting, that's one of the important things to understand. But on an average basis, we think amounts of about two to four inches are likely. And the event begins Wednesday morning, I'd say sometime between six o'clock and 10 o'clock. That's the best timing we can give you now. And it uh, unfolds throughout the day Wednesday and then uh, gradually winding down perhaps uh, Wednesday night. And of course, we'll be much more specific on that tomorrow. But that could be a very high impact snow event for us. Thursday, it's all gone. Everything out of here. We are drier. Uh, going to be kind of a chilly day if we got a snow cover. It's going to be very cold uh, Thursday morning. We could see temperatures uh, maybe in the teens, the high Thursday, hopefully in the 40s, starting to melt things away. Friday looks a little colder, the high dropping back to about 40 with a secondary surge of cold air coming in, but we're dry. We should be snow-free, rain-free Thursday and Friday. For the weekend, we start to warm up a little bit. Mid-50s are likely. After we start the day Saturday down in the low 20s, the high will be in the middle 50s, and the same thing on Sunday. All of the nastiness is west and north of the state, although moisture does begin to increase Sunday. And, uh, you know, we might look at some chance of a shower, but for the moment I think we'll leave that out. And then this is Monday of next week. Uh, you can see how the troughing is shifting to the west of 588 Ridge nosing in from the Gulf. And if that's the case, we're going to warm up. That'll push us up in the middle 60s. And with a cold front coming in, that could set the stage for showers and storms. Uh, you know, hey, this is March 2nd. Tis the season for active thunderstorms. Uh, this is not a severe weather look, by the way, but we have seen other runs that do suggest we could see some strong storms. We'll check the end of the forecast on March the 5th. And uh, you can see, again, uh, troughing back over the east and another cold shot coming in here if that happens to be correct that's it for the weather extreme video today we'll have notes in the blog the next video here by seven o'clock tomorrow morning if you can catch us this evening on the live stream of the television side abc 3340 news at four five six and ten weather brains tonight weekly show about weather we kick it off at 8 30 central 9 30 eastern live.bigbrainsmedia.com thanks for watching have a great evening and god bless